So you've finished high school and you want to study data science in Australia, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'll talk about bachelor's degree in data science. If you've already got a bachelor's degree and you'd like to study data science in Australia, then check out my video reviewing the best master of data science degrees in Australia. Let's talk about bachelor's degree. In Australia, there are four types of bachelor's degree that you can study to be a data scientist. These are the Bachelor of Computer Science or IT with a data science major, a Bachelor of Science degree with a data science major, Bachelor of Data Science degree, and finally a Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics degree. I've got the complete list of the bachelor's degree in a Notion website linked in the description. So I'd recommend that you open that up in another tab as you watch this video. So you know which degrees I'm referring to as this video progresses. Now let's talk about each of the degrees in more detail. First, let's talk about the Bachelor of Computer Science degree or IT with a data science major. So this is a vanilla computer science degree that allows you to specialize in data science. This would be my top recommendation for a graduate coming out of high school. Why? Because this gives you the most amount of options after you graduate. Through this degree, you'll be able to apply for jobs in software engineering, data science, and machine learning engineering. Because this degree will teach you the best software engineering practices, along with a good amount of programming, as well as the maths you need to do data science. And all the skills you learn will be greatly useful to you, no matter which career you pursue in IT. So if you want a degree that keeps your option as broad as possible, then this is the degree for you. And data science in the commercial industry is maturing, which means that there's a greater need of data scientists that have good software engineering skills because now more and more businesses are looking to do data science at scale. And currently, most data scientists are coming from algorithmic background and more academic backgrounds. So you need to set yourself apart from the get-go. Two examples of fairly good degrees are the Bachelor of Advanced Computing from the University of Sydney and the Bachelor of Computer Science from the University of New South Wales. Both options allow you to specialize in artificial intelligence and data science more broadly. The degree from University of Sydney even allows you to do a major and a minor. So you can choose to do data science as a major and do software engineering as a minor. Of course, there's many more degrees out there. You'll find all the details in the Notion website. Let's talk about the Bachelor of Science degrees with a data science major. And there's two that I've found, one from the University of Melbourne and the other from the University of Western Australia. Both of the degrees are highly customizable. For example, the one from the University of Melbourne has 24 units or 24 subjects that you end up doing over three-year period and out of the 24 subjects only 13 are compulsory the rest it's up to you to customize as you see fit so these degrees are great if you want a lot of flexibility over how you customize your degree and this might be relevant to you if you're keen on exploring different faculties in the university or specializing in a particular area of data science from the get-go. It could be something like healthcare or business analytics. And specifically, the degree at University of Melbourne allows you to do breadth subjects, which is essentially subjects outside of your faculty. So I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility if you do want to do subjects in the business faculty or the computer science faculty or even the engineering faculty, giving you even more fine-tuned control as to what you study. So overall, I would say that the Bachelor of Science degrees are the most flexible degrees on this list. If you're enjoying the video so far, then consider subscribing. I make weekly videos about demystifying data science. Let's finally talk about the Bachelor of Data Science degrees. These are the newest degrees on the list. I think majority of the degrees have only existed for the past five years. These are very specialized degrees towards data science. But at the same time, they're very broad when you look at the mix of the subjects. You'll be studying subjects across statistics, machine learning, and computer science, as well as some degrees will also offer a good amount of business-related units. The best degree that I've found is University of New South Wales Bachelor of Data Science and Decisions. Although I did feel as though a lot of the units are quite theoretical and some of them are very much economics 
focused subjects you would typically find in an actual science degree but what I love about this degree is the three majors that it offers it allows you to major in either computational data science quantitative data science and finally business data science. Computational data science is more focused towards engineering related subjects. So this is a great option for you if you want to get more experience in software engineering or machine learning engineering. Quantitative data science on the other hand exposes you to more stats related units. So this is great if you're more inclined towards the maths aspect of being a data scientist or focused on the algorithmic side of things. And finally the business data science degree has more economics and business business focus units. This is great if you want to get more into the business analysis side of things. So this degree gives you a lot of flexibility as to which side of data science you want some more experience in. And it gives you a lot of room to do data science internships, which is crucial for starting your career in data science. Finally, let's talk about the Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics degrees. This is very similar to the Bachelor of Data Science degree, but the emphasis is more on learning business analytics rather than strictly machine learning. A Bachelor of Data Science degree will typically expose you to more computer science and engineering-like units. Whereas the Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics teaches you more about business thinking and how data fits into the grand scheme of the commercial industry and you also won't do many of the advanced programming units that you would do otherwise in a bachelor of computer science so this is a great degree for if you want to be a business analyst or be a data scientist with a more emphasis on business thinking. University of South Australia has a great online course in this field. So this course is awesome for people looking for more of a flexible type of learning, which enables you to fully remotely do this degree. Overall, the course has a good balance of programming, predictive analytics, and business related subjects. Let's talk about entry requirements for all of these degrees. So for domestic students, it's as easy as checking the ATAR requirements of a degree. And I've listed them all in the Notion website. And you'll also need a couple of prerequisites that are specific to that degree so make sure to check those out for international students your entry will be a combination of your grade 12 results and your ILTS results if you go onto the website of the degree you're interested in all of them I've listed in the notion website you'll be able to find lookups of the equivalent grade 12 marks as the ATAR on each of the websites so it'll be on your local country's scoring systems let me know in the comments if you have any issues finding those finally on to the field for domestic students, the fees are going to be anywhere from $6,000 a year to $9,000 a year, depending on which course and university you pick. Group of eight universities typically tend to be more expensive than the others. For international students, you're looking at paying anywhere from $30,000 to $40,000 per year. Often there's lots of scholarships available for the degree you apply for, but these tend to be very competitive. And I'll be sure to make a video specifically on the scholarships at these universities. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, then smash that like button and I'll see you next time.